who the fuck is this? Rumble? About a year ago, I was walking along the road here at night when I suddenly saw a blinking light in the sky. When my eyes finally adjusted, I found myself looking at a shimmering object floating overhead. I couldn't look away. The next thing I knew, I was bathed in light. When I came to, I woke up in a bed covered in sweat. What do you think about that? Sounds like a dream, dude. At first, I thought it was a dream. A bad dream. But the bed I woke up in wasn't my bed. A. It was a bed full of liquid in an empty room, and when I looked in the corner, there was a weird glowing device. Are you are you part of the Yaga clan? Is this what's happening right now? Am I being gaslit? And when I touched the device, I was overwhelmed with a feeling of familiarity. When I came to, I was here. What do you think about that? That's um that's great. Does the story sound familiar? Highly in champion. Your story ends here, hero boy! All right. Oh fuck. I don't have any shields or anything. Dude can kill me in one shot if he wants to. Nice try, Professor. Haha. <laughs> Your bananas are mine. Well, that was interesting. Anyways, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Couple of things have changed since the last part, you know. Um, I think I said it in a different video, but just to reiterate, all the shrine grabbing and tower getting and all the extra stuff, I'll be doing that in like separate videos away from the playthrough. So if you want to check those out, you can check those out, you know. None of it will really have commentary, it would just be like an intro, the stuff, and then an outro. That's it, right? So since then. I have gotten all the towers, I have not gotten any new shrines, but I have unlocked, I think, 20 more shrines? I think around 20, so in total we should have like 40. Um, I haven't done them yet, I still have to record and do them that. Um, I just had like a stroke saying that. <laughs> I have to record them and do that, that's what I meant to say. I like mixed a handful of words together. Um, in the meantime, I lost <laughs> pretty much all the good weapons I had. <laughs> and then I got the uh, Sheikah set. Which cost a pretty penny, but I got it mainly so that I can, um, you know, uh, sneak and grab horses whenever I'm adventuring, right? So, uh, and then I upgraded it a little bit at the Fairy Fountain. So, in this part, what I plan on doing, now that I got all the towers and stuff, there's a little bit more that I need to do in order to, like, kind of fully explore and grab those, uh, shrines off camera. And that is... The fact that I have to head to the four main cities where the story happens. Because when I was doing that off screen, cutscenes started to play. And I was like, oh boy, I don't I don't wanna I don't want the cutscene to play without me recording it. So even though they're not that important, they're still, you know, it's still something part of the story, so I don't wanna I don't wanna neglect that, right? So I'm over here. The game just reloaded, so a bunch of Nightshade and shit should be around. I need that to upgrade the Sheikah set. And I also need to find some fireflies or something like that. There's no fairies over here because I fucking... I yanked them already, right? I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I did off, off screen that was kind of important? Oh yeah, I remember. So before we head to the other villages and stuff like that, let me just uh, do a couple of things to upkeep things that I didn't record that I think are worth note. So over... where is it? Over here, I think right yes over here there's another great fairy fountain you can fly to it easily from uh from nero hill right you need 500 rupees to activate the fairy fountain and if you're hurting for rupees never fear because over here in the uh horses stable there's a guy that has a side quest for you and he goes i want to pay tribute to the great fairy here's 500 rupees please don't take my money and run away and just use it to go unlock the great fairy fountain so that's how you do that if you're hurting for rupees right which you probably are um unless you're selling every upgrade material that you need right uh other than that i think the other thing of note that i did is where is it it should be very obvious on the map but for some reason i can't find it is it up here 
Um, it's somewhere. It's like a skull formation, I believe. It's one of the. It's one of these over here. I think it's around here somewhere. Maybe I don't know. Um, but there's a merchant. His name is Keaton. Oh, here it is. Over here. There's a merchant named Keaton in Skull Lake. Right, there's a shrine over here that I had to unlock, and once you do that, I'm not sure if he's there in the daytime, right? He might be, because he's technically not open for shop yet, but there's one of these islands over here, one of these two. You glide down there, and you go talk to him. His name's not Keaton, my bad, it's Kelton. I'm sorry. Uh, you glide down there. First thing you do, you take a picture of him, because there's some guy at a horse stable somewhere that wants a picture of him, so make sure you take a picture of his face. And then you talk to him and he says, hey man, I like monsters, monster parts, uh, things that are, you know, things go bump in the night. I have a shop that I'm selling some monster armor for. Most of them are just a uh, mask that you get to help you hide for certain monsters. Um, and then the real reward is the uh, Dark Link set, which you get after you beat all four of the dungeons, right? Quote unquote dungeons. Use that term very loosely. But you talk to him and unlocks the shop and then... From then on, he will appear only at night in a handful of villages, One of, uh, but it doesn't matter which village you go to. At night, you can just head to one of the close nearby villages. He seems to be there all the time. Uh, not Hateno. This one, this village. He seems to be here all the time, right? So I just go here to see him. And then another thing is, remember in the first part, I think it's in the first part, or one of the couple of parts... No, I think it's in like maybe the third part or something, depending on how I edit this in the future. But in one of the parts, we saw a falling star, right? And I wasn't able to get it, but off screen, while I was adventuring, two of them happened. Where the hell are they? Star fragments. And I believe this is what you use to get the, uh, get Rex's set from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, right? I haven't made that yet, because I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how to make that. And it should be in like one of the side quests here. Just called Xeno. Yeah, here you go. Uh, Look at the night sky. These locations find red shooting stars. Find red shooting stars? Oh, okay. Well, there's regular shooting stars, and I guess there's red shooting stars. Huh. The eastern sky from the skull left eye. Okay. Well, that's obviously at a... Okay, those are two locations in which you can find these red stars at night. Alright, well, I'll do that off screen, but just to let you know that I've gotten some star fragments. I don't know what they're used for. Probably maybe to upgrade certain um, weapon sets. Not weapon sets, uh, armor sets. Um, I think that's it for the off screen things that I did that I think were of note. Uh, let me think real quick. Yeah, no, I think that's it. I usually write notes down for this, but uh, but I didn't this time because you know I wasn't even home when I was doing them. I was you know I took my switch on the go, my OLED switch. I took it on the go. All right, what else is there to do? Yeah, no, that that's pretty much it. I got a couple of Korok seeds. Um, by a couple I mean like three. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, recorded the video where all the towers are at. So in this part, we're gonna we're gonna uh, go and unlock the uh, villages. We're gonna head to all. Well, at least this part. Maybe it'll be a two parter. I'm not sure. But uh, that means all the main villages. So the Rito village, the Goron city, uh, Gerudo city, and um, Zora's domain. Right. Uh, two of them are pretty easy to just get to, right? And yeah, kind of Goron City is easy to get to, but you need some stuff for it. Um, but uh, Zord's Domain takes a bit of a hike, right? So first things first, I, I braved the heat. I went over here. At this point, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to get into the city, but just in case you don't know, I'm going to tell you because I because I'm a nice guy. And I want to make sure you understand what the hell is going on. I'm not your regular YouTuber. No. I tell you how to play the game. <laughs> I tell you about the game. I don't make faces. Can you feel the hostility? Anyways, you come to this guy and he's all like, Yo, man, I want to I wanna get up in that city for women. But I'm not a woman. 
I can't do that. I need clothes to be a woman. Hey man, there's a guy who who's who somehow made it in there before dressed up as a woman. And if you head over here to these guys, and you're like, hey guys, what's up? I'm here to say what's happening. Okay. I see that I'm not welcome. Freeze! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> not into the town, that's for sure. No vows allowed. Okay. I feel... I feel like I'm targeted. But hey, man. Oh, by the way, I have no more shield. <laughs> I lost my shields. They're all gone. Hey, lady, do you have a shield I can borrow so I can use one of these to serve? Hello, lady. Oh, wow. Don't tell me you crossed the Gerudo Desert on foot. Yeah, I came here on foot. Must have been hard to walk through the desert, especially having your feet sink into the sand. What's wrong with my feet? Oh, you know what? They are sinking into the sand. You're right. It's common kind of sense to travel to the desert with sand seals around here. My name is Frilly? I think that's how you say that. I run a shop in Gerudo Town where I rent out sand seals. Most people can't take the time to train their own sand seals, so I rent out the ones I've trained. <laughs> If you need to know anything about sand seals, I'll be your first up. Alright, do you have a shield though? I need a shield. <laughs> have questions? Come talk to me. How do I catch one? How do I ride one? How do I ride one? Uh. Tearing sand seals is pretty easy. Go in whatever direction you want. You need a shield to sand seal surf. But, god damn it, that was a tongue twister. Holy shit. I'm marveling at her fucking biceps. They're fucking fantastic. Anyways, <laughs> she. Uh, so don't forget about that. Cool. Just giving it a shot is best. Is there anything you don't get? I need a. I need a lady. I need. I need a shield. <laughs> I don't have a shield. To be fair, I don't need a shield, but I can't. I kind of want to surf for fun. I say I don't need a shield because oh no, I kind of do. Wait, no. This is the cliffside. I think I can. Yeah, I think I can make it over here to our little oasis where we need to go. Also, I have yet to uh, I have yet to find one of the memory pictures, which we're probably gonna do right now because it's one of the easiest ones to get. I think the easiest ones to get because it just sticks out like a sore thumb. So, how's your day? How you guys doing? You doing fine? Ah, oh, fuck! It's this place. Damn it! <laughs> oh fuck! I don't know which way I'm facing. Oh, okay. There we go. Temperature is getting very high. Find a way to cool down. Go fuck yourself. Find a way to cool down. I'm good. You're good, Link. You're fine. Okay, you're getting hurt. You're getting hurt, Link. I'm sorry. Make sure to grab this. Link, I don't have any way to cool down. I also kind of hate the fact that you can't just take off your gear and that would cool them down a little bit. It has no effect if you do that. What the fuck? Oh. Monsters. Ugh, oh, I am hurting. At least it doesn't take as much damage as the cold. There's some dickhead in the fucking, uh, oh my god. Oh god, <laughs> fucking Christ. Uh, there's some idiot in one of the uh, snowy areas where he's like, Man, I would love to give you a warm welcome, but how about, uh, how about we do some snow bowling or some dumb shit? I don't want to use any uh, electric weapon because he has that electric horn. Actually, have arrows. It's a better choice if I can aim properly. Oh fuck, he broke my bow. Oh shit, thank you, fairy. Come on. Come on. Ha ha! Alright, well, I didn't want to use a metal weapon because it's probably not a good idea. But if I just hit him... Ouch. If I hit him at the right location... Jesus. What are you doing? Okay, that's what you're doing. Where's my boat? Ha 
Come on, buddy. Fucking... There we go. This shouldn't... There we go. Oh my god, that took forever. Ah. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll get the, uh... We'll get the, uh, what you call it? The, um... Ugh, the Master Sword at some point. So maybe it'll be a little easier on us. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Just the oasis that I want to be at? Oh! I forgot, this is where one of the cutscenes trigger. Sally the camel's got two humps. Sally the camel's got two humps. Sally the camel got two humps. Ride Sally, ride boom 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 boom. Everyone, pre please refrain from making your Shadow of the Colossus jokes. I know it's very low hanging fruit. <laughs> That's why I will make the joke. It's almost like it's Breath of the Colossus. I did it. Is this the oasis that I want to be at? Hell yeah. Great. I think there's supposed to be... Is there supposed to be a shrine over here too? No, I don't think so. I don't think there's a shrine over here. Anyways. What you selling, homegirl? Got these... Watermelons, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Hello, beautiful. Who are you? <laughs> I gotta go. Um, you're a Vo, aren't you? I, I am? Why? No, I bet Mama would have a problem with a delicate Vo like you. Delicate? Lady, I want you to crush me between your abs. Oh, yes. I am Ro Rodonson. Ro Ro Rodonson? Ro Rodonson? How do I say that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I hail from Gerudo Town. <sighs> this search for the love of my life. It's so exhausted. I'm so exhausted by it. Man, that sounds fucking rough. Yeah. I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a Hylian like you. I mean, considering the fact that your whole uh, nation is based on you leaving your hometown to get your fucky on and then heading back home to have the baby. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's kind of my business. Just a little bit. I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Man, why the rush? Mm -hmm. You don't know? Really? It's incredibly rare for a male to be born to the Gerudo. For our own survival as people, we travel to find husbands. I proved myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the Vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-hammered garment. Well-hammered? <laughs> that wasn't the word. I just added that in there because I was staring at her biceps. And her abs. Listen. I'm different. I'm built different, alright? I love my muscle mommies out there. I want to be fucking destroyed. I want them to snap me in half. I want them to snap me like a fucking Slim Jim. Am I sharing too much? <laughs> I, was I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Aw, good luck, girl. Anyways, after talking to that guy outside the Gerudo town, you- Just a knife? Just a- just a knife hanging out? That's not scary. <laughs> okay. Uh, you head over here. It has to be the daytime, I believe. I love ladders. Because you can do this and regain stamina. And you talk to this beautiful woman. Oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? What's that? You heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town. Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't need more help. Study your face. Squint suspiciously. Hmm. Ah, oh, you're making my cheeks warm. Hey. 
I mean, I'm down for it. <laughs> Looking at me like that. You are very beautiful. Especially that fucking beard. <laughs> <laughs> mean ass beard you got uh you were very beautiful that was such a nice thing to say i'm sure you agree that these clothes only help me look right now that i think about it this style would look quite fetching on you i have char uh i have to charge you of course but i bet people would see you completely different if you wore them oh boy i bet twitter and reddit would have a field day with that wouldn't they and rule 34. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> okay, what do you think? Do you want them for 600 rupees? Ah, uh, I don't got money, dude. Oh dear, that's bad. Let me know if you ever change your mind. Don't worry, I'll get them. I'll get the money right fast. But also before that, if you look around a bit, I think it has to be the daytime as well, like the same uh, time of day as the photo was taken. Maybe. I don't think so. I'm gonna talk to this lady. What's up? Ah, uh, what's the matter? You got this look on your face that's almost screams, I gotta talk to you right now. Buy my shit. Why do you come here to do that? Hurry up. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't wanna sell my stones because at some point I know I'm gonna need them, right? And I'm not selling my fucking diamond. I'm pretty sure at some point I'm gonna need that. Uh, Amber's pretty easy to come across. So is the Luminous Stones, and they sell for 70, honestly. Yeah, no, I, I know where, where I can get some Luminous Stones. It's a pain in the ass to just, like, grind shit, but I know where to get them. <sighs> I kind of, mm. Sorry, lady, damn. I'm just having a moment, okay? And our monster parts I have to give to, uh, what's his face? To Kelton. People say you can cook food and sell that for a high price, but, like, let's be honest. You, you kind of don't want to do that. Because <laughs> then that means when you need the food, you're going to have to go out and grind it out again. Excuse me, I got a hiccup. You have to go out and fucking grind that shit out again? Pain in the ass. All right, well, eh, yeah, you can have, I'm going to regret this. You can have 10 of my stones. Yes. Thank you, lady. Are you finished? I wish you would, I wish you would do that somewhere else next time. <laughs> I guess her, I guess she's not making that much money, but you know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay. Now that we have 600 rupees, this is necessary. It's not a, eh, nothing's really necessary to beat. Well, the tutorial is, but uh, it's not necessary to beat the game. You can ignore it, but you know we're not doing that. So, all right. I told you I didn't know anything. Hmm. You are very beautiful. Okay. 600, I will take them. Oh. It's a deal then. I'll take your rupees now. Now strip. <laughs> I got the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. They knew exactly what they were zooming into. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I love that Link's just like, ah, uh, you look so adorable. Oh. What the fuck, Link? Why are you so into this? Oh my god. All right. Just as I thought, you make for a quite good looking gal. <laughs> That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. Such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would ever suspect that you're a man. On top of that, it, it breathes so well <laughs> that you can deal with the heat. I'm dealing with some sort of heat right now. Oh. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. Mm -hmm. If you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. Whoa. <gasps> Make sure you watch out for the wind. Link's like, holy shit. 
what I get myself into. This is a new, this is a door to a new world. If you want to get more ladies, ladies clothing, come back anytime. Okay. Now I'm the most beautiful, beautiful woman in the world. What's up, doggy? How you doing, boy? Yay. You're a good boy. I'm gonna give you... I was gonna give you an apple, but you know what? You get this. Only for the best boys. There you go, eat it up. That's some good shit, right? I love you. <laughs> Alright. Now that we have this, let me see if I can find a, uh, a shield around here somewhere. I mean, I could fast travel, but I do kind of want to surf, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, hello. I hope it has 300 rupees in it. Oh, 50. I'll take 50. You know what? I won't complain. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought the dog was still following me. Oh, look at this battle axe. It's mine now. I need, I need weapons, honestly. The fuck do I got a tree branch for? I'm gonna run around and just kind of look real quick to see. Oh, hello. A sphere. Yeah, that's right. I said sphere. Uh, do I need the... Uh, I'll keep the lightning rod. Oh, look at him! Some of the dogs, if you do circles in front of them, they start chasing their tails. That's what I was trying to get them to do. Yeah. Chase your tail. Damn it. Alright. I'm gonna check around your stall real quick, man. Because I really do need a shield, honestly. Oh, I need these, by the way. I need this lizard. Oh, I disappeared. Oh, hey, it's Beetle. Beetle, you got some arrows for me? Because for some reason in this game, we can't craft our own fucking arrows, but we can painstakingly sit there and and watch the same cooking animation over and over. Tireless frog. Yeah, I need some arrows, man. I always need arrows. I'm always starving for arrows. 120? Damn, dude. You're taking all my fucking money. You swole-ass motherfucker. Oh, wait, did he recognize me? Yeah. It's you again! <laughs> I wish he- wait, I should've paid attention to what he said before. Honestly, I would've loved it if he went- If he went, oh, it's you again! Why the fuck you dressed up like that? <laughs> you good? He's like, did something happen? Should I know about some should I know about these things? Ladies, 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 you're all beautiful. Very beautiful. I just really need a shield. Okay, well, now I'm a little sad. <laughs> now I'm a little sad that I don't have a shield. Okay, well, anyways. Oh wait, hold up. What if I talk to you? Bah? Are you seeking out the love of your life as well? Oh honey, you know it. Well, good luck to the both of us. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, if you put me in that situation, I would have been like, well, I heard there's this beautiful Hylian, beautiful blonde hair, wears blue clothing, just, just one hell of a man, a hero. <laughs> start fucking, start upping myself, become my own wingman, my own wing gal. And I walk back up be like, hey girl, how's the search going? She's like, you know what? I heard a lot about you. <laughs> That's the type of shit I would do. <laughs> Scumbag move, but sometimes, sometimes, you just got it, right? Eh? That lovely young lady is just my type. So you still spying? <laughs> that lovely young lady is my type. Yo, what's up, bro? I got a penis. 
course not. I'm just investigating. This exchange feels incredibly familiar to me. Haha. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I'm just making my way downtown. What do you got to say about that? Savaba. This is Grito Town, Hyrule's largest trade hub. Only Va permitted to enter within the walls, and we're constantly on alert for anyone who looks suspicious. Oh, sorry. Ba? Uh? Not Ba. Va. <laughs> right? It's Va? That's how you say it? Bite your bottom lip when you... <laughs> Bite your bottom lip seductively. Hey. Okay. Ba. <laughs> when you say it, it translates to woman in our language. So long as you're on the uh, we're on subject as Vo is our word for men. If you plan to stay a what a while, you do well to learn the language. Okay. Am I in heaven? <laughs> Beautiful women, as far as the eye can see. Hello. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Uh, the Grito Top looks really good on you. But you haven't really lived until you got several colors to choose from. What do you say? A different color? Oh, you don't know, really? Changing the color of your clothes is a really trendy thing to do right now for young Va traveling beyond. There's a store in Hitino Village that, that Koichi... hope I pronounced that right. Uh, the Koichi Dye Shop. Where you can dye your clothes. Tino Village is pretty far, though. Not everyone can get there. Anything else you need? No, thank you. Ah. Oh, it's night. On nights like this, I like to relax and grab a drink at the canteen. You trying to tell me something, girl? <laughs> that doorway isn't for customers, actually. If you're a member, please head around to the door on the side. Ooh. Won't mind if I do... What's the password? G. Oh. What comes next? R. Mm -hmm. After that? A. Mm -hmm. And last one? A diamond. Go drink milk at the bar or something. Damn! I will figure this out. <laughs> There's a place I want to go to. So basically, I mean, what the hell? I guess it's a training dummy. <laughs> so basically, we're you know we're in the Gerudo Village. This is all I really need to do. Was kind of need to unlock this area on screen so that I can get the clothing to hang around in the desert and search for shit. But um, but while we're here, we might as well just have some fun, you know. The main thing I want to do while I'm here, actually, besides progress the story, because I kind of want to save that. Oh my god, we got light skins. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> My mind is blown. Berries, elixirs. Actually, tell me about elixirs. I need to learn about the heat resistant ones. Cook up an elixir by mixing bug parts and monster parts together. Elixirs can be made in pots, just like food. Okay. You can also add acorns, chickaloo, tree nuts to impart your elixir with minor healing properties. Okay. Oh, actually, let me see the special effects. Uh, cold properties. Okay. Have hardy properties. Okay, so what did they say? Hasty food. What did they say? They said bug and monster parts. Got it. Okay. Alright, I think I got it now. Now, I gotta look around for clues to the, uh, password. Sava Sava. Hello, gorgeous. Holy shit. Oh. Taking class? Vo and you? <laughs> I'm, I'm about to teach you how to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you join us? Alright. We do have, uh, in our adventure log, where is it? Secret Club. When you secret password known only to members, it seems that once you give the wrong password, you won't be able to try again for an entire day. Really? Holy shit. I didn't know that. Okay. So I think I can get the password by just checking around in houses and shit. 
Time to relax? Hell no. Hmm. You're just gonna stand there, or are you gonna get in line? Ah, uh, <laughs> that was gr it was great. You're lying. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Don't make me angry. All right, all right. I didn't think she would like keep talking. Uh. You know what, that was the most, like, guy thing I've said in a while, right? <laughs> I didn't think she would keep running her fucking mouth. <laughs> oh. What do you see? It was over there the whole time. I thought it was strange that the sandstorm over there never lifted. You can tell she's a smart one, because she has glasses. And she's reading a book. Smart and strong. So what you doing? I'm an archaeologist of sorts. I was just pouring over some ancient text that I discovered the other day. And I finally decoded it. Well, part of it at least, but the rest is not far off. With this discovery, I'll finally be able to make a name for myself as an archaeologist. Eh? Of course. You and I meeting here is no coincidence. Hey, what you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm gonna become I'm slowly becoming Joey from the <laughs> from fucking friends. What you doing? <laughs> Jesus. I never been one to question fate. I can't explain why, but I trust you for some reason. I'll tell you the details of my research if you can keep it a secret. My lips are sealed. Go ahead, baby. Ah. There's a temple east of here near the entrance to the Gerudo Desert. It's dedicated to the seven giant statues of the heroines, said to be the divine protectors of the Gerudo. It was at this temple that I originally discovered the ancient scripture. It reads, when the symbols of the seven find their place, the blessed path will be revealed. That's all I've been able to decipher so far. It's believed that people once came from around the world in search of the heroine's blessing. Mm. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't appear that anyone has found it yet. Blessing. Okay, I see. <laughs> I should understand the entire script before long, but that's the only beginning of my that's only the beginning of my problems. The divine beast has been moving around the area, making it hard for me to conduct my research. That thing has no respect for academia. Try quest. Got it. Damn girl, you good? I'm not gonna wake her up. Let her sleep. Now, where the fuck do I go to get these, uh. Have you heard the rumor? Ah, I finally got my hands on the password for you. Seriously? Wow, place is a little crazy, isn't it? Maybe, but I'm really interested. Anyways, the password is. Wait a second! You! Do you really think we want to see you standing there listening to our conversation? Who says I'm listening to the conversation? Maybe I'm just, you know, maybe I'm just looking. All right. So rude. This is a private conversation. Go the fuck away. Get out of here. All right. You good, girl? You drunk? I really like shorter hair. I grew my hair up because he said he liked longer hair. Oh. Damn, girl. What you up to? Hey, aren't those clothes sold at Fashion Passion? I was thinking about buying some myself. How do they feel, comfy? <gasps> say, are you... I really don't know how to say it. Might you be... Are you a boy? Shh, shh, quiet, lady. You are, I knew it! Not so loud! It's really impressive you're getting here without anyone else noticing. Don't tell me you're into this type of shit. <laughs> you know what? We can work something out. Don't need to worry, I won't tell a soul. Just a little secret between us, Hylia and Va, right? Hell yeah. You're my favorite. I like you now. You're the best. You're the best around. Alright, so homegirls are talking, right? I'm sorry, mind if I just use your, uh, window? Let's have a little Hylia and Va earlier anyways. Forget her, just hurry up and tell us the password. <laughs> Oh, that's right. The password is GSC. Start. Why do I feel like that? That's that's something to do with the GameCube. <laughs> okay, GSC Diamond. 
overheard Sula talking about it, so I'm sure that's right. What could that be? The Rudo Secret Club? But what's the diamond at the end mean? Who knows? The Rudo Secret Club. Got it. Can't try again for a whole day. But you know what? Daytime's almost up anyways. So I guess we'll just hang out. See what we can see what we can find around here. Can I climb? Can I climb up here? You can. What the hell is that? A leaf? What the f What is that? Oh, something just got done rendering. <laughs> I was rendering a video while recording this. I hope it doesn't fuck up the recording. I don't know what the hell this is, but uh... I guess I'll follow it? Gotta be something up there. I sense adventure. Okay. Get up there, Link. Or should I be calling you Linkle right now? <laughs> she is she is Link, but she is a girl. So her name is Linkle. <laughs> Fucking Christ. One of her favorite game was Link's crossbow training. That's why she used nothing but dual crossbows. And bombs. And cuckos. Cuckos are her friends. There's a penis joke in there somewhere. She, her, her best friend is... Is Cox. Alright, I'm just gonna put myself in horny jail now. I That wasn't even, like, horny on my part. That was just, you know what, I just feel bad. <laughs> that joke made me feel bad. Oh. Okay. At least I got something for my troubles. Is that? Oh, and there's the guardian. All right. Well, there is a uh, an N. I can try. I can try over here. Ouch! Don't look at me like that. You saw what happened. I hurt the fuck out of myself. I'm gonna eat this chicken leg now. Wait, is... Okay, I thought, wait, is the sun coming up? Oh, it is. Okay, well, I'll just wait till the sun comes up. No, no need to spend any money. What you wearing, girl? Oh, she's got something for me to do. Uh-oh. The dog in my house is barking now. That's not good. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. <laughs> Hopefully. You know what, just in case, just in case, I should, uh, I should cut away. I'm, I'm gonna do that. Let, let's cut away. <laughs> let's cut away so you guys don't have to deal with the background noise of the ghetto. Alright, and with that smooth transition, we are back. Hopefully, the noise of my background is gone, but, uh, you know, one can never be too sure. Anyways, what's the password? Gerudo. Secret. Club. All right, you can come. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a rare visitor. I guess I have a sus uh, susp oh, I can't even read. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't ask too many questions, and I won't either, huh? You're a member of a you're a member here now, so thanks for the patronage. Got it, beautiful. Got it. Alright, anyways. You come up in here and this is the only place I believe where you can get male Gerudo armor, right? Which is very rare, because I believe it's illegal to make. <laughs> oh. And then we can get the uh 
the uh, Lumination set. Oh, that's a special one made with Luminous Stones. If you're interested, you'll need to trade me the materials. Oh, and there's a handling fee too. How much? Oh my god. So this one, this uh, set over here, has attack up, I believe, right? And if you're wearing the whole set, it has a bonus of letting you be disguised to stall enemies, which are the undead enemies, the, you know, the bony ones. And then this is for heat resistance. I believe it's, it's not fireproof or fire resistance, it's heat resistance. So this might help you on the way up to a uh, Gerudo, to a uh, Gerudo mountain or whatever the fuck. Not Gerudo, what am I saying? Uh, the Goron mountain, death mountain. But, um, it probably won't uh, make you fireproof. There's only two ways to kind of get the armor for that. And to get the whole set, you have to buy it, so. Anyways, what do you, what do you got to sell? I mean, what, what are you, <laughs> what is this place? This is the Grudo Secret Club. This is the only shop in Grudo Town where some, someone can buy clothes and mint for Vota wear. Despite it being illegal to sell Vogue clothing in this town, there's a high demand for such things. <laughs> I've never seen a Vogue disguise himself as a Va like you have, though. <laughs> we each have something to hide, I suppose. Let's ignore that and move on to business. Hey, baby, I mean, if you don't mind secret, I know yours, we can... <laughs> hey, I just turned to Miles Morales for a moment, put my hand on her shoulder, go like, Hey. <laughs> Buy it for me, damn it. Oh. I suppose I could, but I wouldn't be paying more than any other trader would. Though I love to pick up something rare. Alright, I'm gonna hate doing this, I really am, but I am hurting, hurting real bad. Ooh, this goes for 300? Ugh. I gotta see what that's used for. Diamond. You guys are taking my money, aren't you? Okay, you finished already? No, 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 I'll, I'll sell you all my, all my good shit. <laughs> Because I'm going to need this stuff. Well, I'm not going to need it, but I want to have it. Oh, well, I'm not going to need the Luminous oh. Stones. I kind of I kind of need that. Biopals. There you go. My Ambers, you can have them. I believe this is still not enough money to buy all the fucking armor in here. Man, I'm gonna be hitting rocks later. <laughs> Got 4,000. I still feel broke. <laughs> I still feel broke. Okay. Secret safe with me. Oh, if it is, then uh... <laughs> okay guys, listen. There might be- there might be a reaction to this, right? I'm, I'm not doing it to be bad. Hey. Oh. Bright Light of the Sun doesn't agree with me. I haven't paid my respects to it for many years. What? <laughs> okay. She doesn't react. Alrighty. Oh. Oh. Precious item, take good care of it. Oh. I will, lady, I will. <laughs> my god, how much money are you taking from me? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel so broke. Alright, what do you need for this? You need three for each of them? You need three luminous stones for each of them, okay. And you just need that money. That sh money. Oh. Alrighty. Oh. 800? Oh, Jesus. You're making me broke as shit, girl. Alright. 800 for this as well. Okay, well oh. then you gotta buy from me. Give and take, oh. give and take. This is what we're doing. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh. Okay. What am I selling to you this time? Hmm. I 
I'm not selling my I'm not selling my shooting stars. Period. I'll give you my gears. I can get I can get some later. Cause I don't I don't need gears to upgrade anything anymore. I kinda got the upgrades for the Sheikah Slay. All I have to do is upgrade the stasis, and for that I need the ancient cores. So you can take my gears. Ah, I should be saving those for uh for what's its face though, for Kelton. All the monster stuff. Oh Flint, you can have Flint. Oh, it's not that much though. 85? Damn. Damn girl, you are making me broke. I don't want to sell my stars. I really don't. Oh, my stars. <laughs> uh, for 35. Something I, I got a lot of that I can get rid of. With no problem. Which is really not anything. Because I... I don't even have all the Luna Stones that I need. Wait, no, yeah I do. Yeah, you can have four of these. Still not 800 though. Short. And I also don't got any money. <laughs> uh, I really want to save my parts. For, uh... Ah, oh, Henox Guts. That'll probably be a lot for the currency for, for uh... Kelton. Damn it, lady. Driving a hard bargain here. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I'm so going to regret this. You can have one. Just one? Yeah, just one. All right, we're done. We're done here. <laughs> And I got a little extra money in my pocket. Okay. Now that we have those sets, I think this part may have went on for a little too long. <laughs> so we're going to end it here, right? I wanted to at least show off getting the, uh, the armors and stuff, right? And how to go about doing that. But, uh, yeah. If you like what you see, make sure you leave a like, and comment, subscribe. If you're subscribed, Click that notification bell, please. Right, get notifications for all the stuff coming out. Uh, by the time this comes out, hopefully, not hopefully, I know I will be playing Jedi Fallen Survivors on the channel, along with the uh, Pokemon Crystal playthrough. So if you're interested in those, go and check that out. And over on my Twitch, um, right now uh, I'm streaming two two nights a week, and we're doing Digimon Survive. That's what we're doing. But if you want to go check some other live streams that happened before that, they're all all the VODs are on Twitch. They will be coming to YouTube, but it'll take some time until that happens. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the stuff. You know, link to Twitch and Twitter in the description and all that good jazz and awesomeness. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to say for now. So, as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And take care. I'm a chef, chef too.